Welcome to Gravel Crunchers. King Creek, Chapter 2. Uh, we talked about the Thud Buster once before, and I think most of the advanced cyclists who tuned in to that chapter, who own a King Creek, might have been a little taken back because the opinion I stated was based on an engineering, geometric, dimensioning, and tolerancing perspective. It wasn't from a cycling perspective. As a cyclist, I love this thing. It has saved me numerous occasions, and I bought it because on a, a route that I've been using, there's a pothole, and I hit it a couple times, and I mean, it, it, it really hurt. I mean, it really hurt. So I got the Cane Creek, and it really is wonderful, except it rattles. And when I change my body weight, which hopefully goes to the right direction, I have to change the puck and it, it's not too flexible. So you have to make a very large increment, incremental change. So it's either, it's always a little too firm. But the main issue I was talking about the rattling is this post is nine point two two millimeters. This hole is 9.45 millimeters by my measurements and it's pretty close. So what I want to show you is this. This is from an engineering perspective very bad. You won't see that kind of sloppy engineering with shock stop. Redshift Sports Engineering is beautiful, and you won't see that kind of sloppy tolerancing. So that's the problem with it. They say put copious grease in it. The grease goes away in a month, over even less. So you're always greasing it. And it, yeah, when you have heavy grease in it, it doesn't rattle all week. So that's my complaint with it. But I'm not going to get rid of it, even though the seat clamp may break my straddle seat, po uh, seat, which actually costs more than the Cane Creek. So this clamp had to be sanded. Off, you know, I had to remove all the anodize and clamp it so tight. So I'm a little bit nervous about wrecking my straddles. I don't believe Redshift Sports would put out such sloppy engineering. That's just sloppy. From an engineering point of view, from a cyclist's point of view, we love it. Thanks for watching.